Hi, I'm Laura from Hair Hardware, and today I'm going to show you how to make a pinwheel bow, like this little tiny brown pinwheel bow I have right here. The materials that I'm using are a glue gun, a pair of scissors, a needle and thread, and the thread I usually use something like upholstery thread so that it's real strong, and I make sure that I triple knot it at the end so I have a nice strong knot. For the ribbon, I'm using 7 8 grill grain ribbon. This is a pink heart print, and for the center I'm using 3 8 pink grosgrain ribbon. To make the bow you're going to need to make something like this template right here. This is just made with cardstock. It measures 3 inches across and let's see it's about 6 inches tall. And this of course you're going to want to vary the size of this depending on how big you want your pinwheel bow to turn out. A 3 inch template will yield you a three inch pinwheel bow. You're also going to need two alligator clips to hold the ribbon on the side. And I'll show you how that's done in just a second. So what you're going to want to do, first I'm going to remove the alligator clips from this template. And this opening that I cut in the middle is important because you're going to need to sew up through the middle of the ribbon. So just make sure that you measure exactly halfway in between the template and just cut this opening probably about a quarter of an inch wide. Okay. So to start, I'm going to put the ribbon that I'm using for the center off to the side and I'm just going to use the 7 8 ribbon for the bow. Now I'm going to lay it across the bottom of the template on an angle. Not much of an angle, but not completely flat like that or you won't be happy with your bow results. Make sure it's angled just a little bit. Take your alligator clip and put it right there so that you hold it in place. Then you're going to take your ribbon and I'm just going to cut a piece off of here so that my spool is out of the way. And you're going to wrap the ribbon around the template. Now this part right here is kind of important. You don't want to overlap the edges of the ribbon. Just make sure that they lay flat right next to each other and you don't even want any spaces in between. Just lay the ribbon flat right next to each other and make sure that it looks the same on the other side. Just lay the ribbon across. And then I'm going to stop right there so that my bow has two loops and then two tails on the side. So I'm just going to take my other alligator clip, clip it on there. First I'm going to trim it. Then I'm going to take my other alligator clip and place it on the side like that. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to take your needle and thread and you're going to stitch up across the center. So just start at the bottom, pull the needle and thread through, and you're going to want to make stitches that are about, mm, I'd say about 3 8 of an inch. Just a simple stitch, nothing fancy. Try to make the stitch so that definitely you want it straight up the center and you want to make it so that you stitch together the seams of the ribbon. So just do a few stitches up the center like this. You don't have to be real exact with those. So hopefully you can see where I've stitched across the center there. Now you can remove the alligator clips on the side and you're going to want to slide it off the template. Now what you're going to do, and this is why I use the strong ribbon and I make that nice big knot at the end, because you're going to pull the thread and you're going to slide the ribbon down and let it fold like this. And then you're going to take your excess thread and you're going to wrap it around the center like this. Just wrap it around a few times and then you're going to take your needle and thread 
and you're just going to reinforce it on the back of the bow. I usually just do a couple stitches, should hold it. Okay, now we're going to trim that. And now you're going to take your bow and you're going to separate the loops, creating that pinwheel pattern like that, like this. You can see how the pinwheel is taking shape. These loops are not overlapping and sitting on top of each other. They're just staggered across the bow, just like pinwheels. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your scissors and you're going to trim these tails on an angle. And I've seen these done a number of different ways. You can angle it the other direction. You can angle it with the bow. You can make the tails longer than the bow. It's, it's really up to you. And once you cut those threads, you're going to want to use something like a wood burner to heat seal those ends. Make sure it doesn't fray. You can also use fray check or you can use a lighter. Just be careful you don't burn yourself or anything. Now before you attach the center, you're going to want to make sure that your loops are exactly the way you want them to be. And these look pretty good. So I'm going to take my pink grow grain ribbon, 3 8 of an inch wide that I'm using for the center. And for this bow, I'm just going to do a simple knot like this. I'm going to put a dot of glue right in the center. And then I'm going to press the knot exactly where I want it to be. I'm going to let it hold for about five seconds there. And then you can bring the ribbon around to the back of the bow like this. And you're going to hold it so it's straight back like that. I'm going to trim it. Going to heat seal that edge. You're going to take your glue gun again, add just a little bit of glue to the back, press those sides down, and now you have your little pinwheel bow that I made just the same size as this plain brown one. You can adjust this template to any width that you'd like. And you can also add more loops. My bow just had the two loops and then the tails, but if you keep wrapping it around, just make sure that you start where you put your clip, you start and end on opposite sides, and then you'll have that perfect pinwheel look.